be almost amusing. So, because of the cancel culture and the wokeness, after the uh, killing of George Floyd, many universities took a stand on the George Floyd case. And university administrations spoke out very <coughs> vigorously against racism and denunciation of George Floyd. Then, after that, Ukraine came along. And many a cultural institution took a stand on that. I remember when I walked into Lincoln Center, a cultural hub in New York, and they had a whole wall dedicated to musicians in the various orchestras that were of Ukrainian descent. So then along comes October 7th, and the wealthy Jewish billionaire class then start to say, hey folks, you took a stand on George Floyd. You took a stand on Ukraine. Why aren't you taking a stand on what happened on October 7th? And the university presidents were in a very difficult situation. If you took those stands, then why aren't you taking one deploring what happened on October 7th? Now, university professors are not stupid. I should say presidents are not stupid. And so they immediately understood we have a real problem here. And everybody here understands the problem. If we take a stand on October 7th, then we're going to have to take a stand on everything that happened after October 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, the next two months. And so if they didn't take a stand, they were going to lose the money. And it was very big money. And we shouldn't kid ourselves about that. But if they did take a stand, then they would have to take a stand on 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and they'd lose the money anyway. So it became, it was a moment where you could say, I'm glad I'm not a university president. It was a very tough situation. So 